It was Tuesday that the Arab League took the controversial decision to seat an opposition representative in Syria's seat at an Arab League summit in Doha. On Thursday, Press TV caught up with Iranian Ambassador Mohammad Khazayi, who had been in meetings with the UN Security Council President and Secretary General Ban Ki-moon in his role as non-aligned movement president. In his national capacity, Khazayi said that the Arab League move set a bad precedent, one that he added might come back to haunt it. It may uh, be a bad precedent for uh, the future of these organizations, uh, as international organizations as well as regional organizations because uh, later on any country, any power can bring uh, an opposition group against any other country or any other government. So this initiative may flame uh, the situation that in future, uh, you know, other countries also uh, around uh, that table witness that their opposition groups are seated on their behalf. Iran has been supporting the Syrian government since the troubles began, but Khazayi added that regardless of the side a nation may take in the conflict, international laws and organizations need to be respected. Now, the Syrian opposition group wasted little time in demanding wider recognition from the international community, even making noise about the possibility of United Nations recognition. That won't happen, according to outgoing Security Council President and Russian Ambassador Vitaly Cherkin. In his exit press conference from the Security Council presidency, Cherkin said that most U.N. member states behave in a responsible manner and would never imagine seating an opposition group that has no legitimacy. A group of people of this National Council whose legitimacy has been established from outside, from outside of the country. Their legitimacy does not have any uh, ground in Syria. No elections. I mean, the, most of the Syrian people, I'm sure, have not seen many of the people or heard of, of, the, of the people who sit on the National Council. With all due respect to those people, I mean, I don't want uh, to say anything uh, negative about those who are on the Council or some other opposition groups. Uh, they may have their cause, they pursue their cause. But in terms of their legitimacy, it is not there. On the humanitarian side, UN Humanitarian Coordination and Response Chief John Ging says that he's still waiting on member states to follow through on their cash promises for Syrian refugees. Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and the UAE notably pledged $300 million each to the cause at a recent conference, but Ging says the money hasn't showed up, and he noted the direct correlation between distribution of humanitarian aid and the funding that pays for it. Hank Flynn, Press TV, New York.